Yo, what is good? What is back? It is your boy DJC, aka the Dolphin Carl. That we're here for some more Pokemon Floral Tempest episode 34. 34. We out here vibing, doing it, baking it, baking it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What's up? Uh, we are back. So in the last episode, we came to this pit, and we were like, "Hey, uh, stop what you're doing." And they were like, "No, nah, I'm good. I'm good." So, I, I, uh, unfortunately for me, I had to grind again, because, you know, I just got a badge, and I had to grind again in order to beat this, because I could have beaten it without it, but the ga video game was like, nah, you get homie, and I'm like, great, I, great, just great, fantastic, so, we are here, everybody level 55, which is stupid, because now all of the experience that I would get in the near future doesn't matter. But hey, you gotta love you some stupid fights. Am I right? That don't make sense. So either way, we're gonna get back into it. Uh, I'm about to just scrap this whole thing. It seems as though, uh, mm, mm, he's gonna flamethrower my Crobat, so I'm just gonna swap out. Mm, mm, yeah, yeah. Mm, you love to see it. I saw. So I got burned. I got. I got burned. All right. If I don't beat this in 15 minutes, I'm, I'm just going to stop this here and just go take a break and go do something else. What did I do? 101 again? I'm just gonna heal. That's it. Alright, uh, yeah, he dies to another rock slide. He used Heat Wave. Heat Wave. The Wave of Heat is what he used. Trevenant. I mean, yeah, do the same thing every time. But I use Ice Beam this time. Never use Shadow Ball because, you know, it lives a Shadow Ball at 1 HP. Gonna bring out the Muck. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I had to make sure I'm at full HP. I'm gonna get uh I'm gonna get gunk shotted because that's how this game works. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Probably just gonna kick Zorak off the team because the illusion doesn't work half the It does just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. 
got a, a saying. Wait, what am I doing? Why didn't I just swap? I just wasted that potion. Because I know what he's going to do. He's going to freaking... He's going to ice punch. He's going to keep ice punching. Don't know why I didn't swap out. To okay, he's bringing the Toxic Croak out. I should live this. I'm at full HP. I'm pretty sure the last time I got Ice Punch, I lived at 12. Cool. Who needs to get healed up here? I think Roy does. Nah, I'm just gonna get rid of the burn, honestly. I should have a burn heal, right? I do. I have four. Cro uh Crobat, your job here is done. Tech. All right, Malamar. See ya. I don't care about that at all. It's gonna use rest now, so I might as well heal. What is he gonna do? Not use rest? Alright. Uh, let's see. This is. This is turn one. Asleep. Oh, wow, and I crit him too. Great. I'm not worried about that at all because Luxury just cleans up here. Mm -hmm. Luxury leaves this thing at low enough HP that uh, Ice Beam just straight up kills. Mm -hmm. Wow, it was a roll this time and it didn't kill me. Yeah. I like how I got a low roll and then I got a max. He got, got max rolled immediately. Alright. Wow, that's a. Uh, wow, he finally got defeated after all of that. It's been an hour. Uh, I trained with Lester and Zaya for like three hours yesterday and I still lost. Grr. Uh, you're just dead set on screwing with us, aren't you? You better watch yourself after our boss decides to take matters into their own hands. You and your friends could come into real danger. Our boss does not F around. Who cares about your boss? Not you. Not you, too. Surprise! None of us are afraid of your boss. Conan already took you and Lester down. If your boss is going to stand in our way, we'll take him down, too. Now, we have some questions, and you're going to answer them. Or else. Or else, what, you're going to torture me or something? No, not me. But I'm sure Jolteon is very happy about the fact that you guys are hiding Dory from us. And if I remember correctly, your Pokemon aren't ready, really in battle ready condition. So if you don't want to get shocked, I suggest you begin talking. Or er, fine. Uh, you guys want to get in my boss's way? Go ahead. I'm sad and warn you when he decides that he's ready to deal with you himself. Uh, I'm sure your boss is nothing special. Famous last words. Anyway, if you're still looking for that girl, chances are she's already dead. All the kids we kidnap are sold off to many different types of people. Whatever these people do with them isn't our business. We just take the money and move on with our lives. Now, one of these people happened to be a professor that uses kid, uh, kids to experiment on them. When we delivered Dory to him, he didn't pay us any, uh, the money he was supposed to. Now everyone is on edge because we weren't able to pay some of the grunts. Once our boss finds uh, finds out about this, he's gonna he isn't gonna be happy. 
So, because one professor didn't pay, uh, everyone's on edge. Well, yeah, these kids had uh, had a hefty price on them. Enough pay, enough to pay, uh, enough to pay everyone in the whole game. Anyway, uh, as I said before, chances are that Gora Dury is still alive. Being alive is very slim. I'd say she's already dead now. Mm. Can you just tell us the name of the professor so we can check on them themselves? All right, all right, jeez. Uh, he goes by bigger with with us, but his real name is Professor Avid. All right, dude. Hmm. Why are you hanging out around here? Didn't I ask you to keep an eye on the girl? I I, I was. I was just coming to, out for a small break. The other assistant was watching over her, the girl right now. That's fine. Did you dispose of the other bodies? I don't want their their foul stench to stink up my lab. Yes, Professor. I dispose of the bodies like you asked. All right then, go prep the next girl for testing. This is the next batch. This next batch might finally be the one that works. Yes, professor. Mm, don't worry, my darling. Mm hmm. Et resuit te un vete me plena. That could be Italian. Your time will come soon. Professor Avid. Uh oh. Well, Conan, I guess that confirms it. Well, I told you everything you wanted to know. Just why? Why would you guys? Why are you guys doing all this? Uh, what's the point? Money, power. Why else would we be doing this? You you're ruining children's lives for the sake of money and power. Yeah, that sounds about right. I do it. Uh, as long as it makes us money, we do whatever we have to. Whether it's selling kids or simply uh, moving cargo, we'll do whatever it takes to make money. As I've said before, there are things you guys don't understand about Team Blight, and uh, Raltra in general everything we do has a purpose and a reason there's never a reason to kidnap someone's ch child from their family and leave them to die with some fucked up professor uh, team blight will never get away with the crap that they're pulling we'll make sure of it say what whatever you say hombre just letting you know that that is my boss uh, letting you know uh, now that my now that my my boss isn't uh, letting you know now that my boss isn't a person you want to fuck around with. Uh, the more guys get into Team Blight, the more you guys get into Team Blight's way, the angrier he'll get. He's far worse than Lester will ever be. Hmm. I've already told you all I know about Grigor and his antics, so pull your jolty on back and let us out of here. Fine. Hope you guys don't run into Venom anytime soon. He definitely won't be happy to see you. We're out. Wow, that was a lot more than what I signed up for. I'm sure you and your friend want to talk some more, so I'm not going to waste your time. Thanks for helping me out and protecting the forest. Take this as a token of my appreciation. If you ever want to earn some uh, some rare items, come by the Forest Squad HQ. We have some people that will give you some quests to do too. Again, thank you for your help. So, we're, we're going to have to speak break the news to Faye and Del. Faye is still in Fallujah City, so I'll go talk to her. As for Del, I have no idea where he is. Faye will probably go looking for him. Uh, I know you want to go straight to the professor's lab and storm the place, but we're gonna have to be smart about this. Uh, any wrong decision could get any one of us in serious danger. And if there is a small chance that Dory is still alive, any dumb decision we can make can easily screw that up. I'll go tell Del Faye we'll go looking for Del. Also, have you seen Garrison anywhere? He should also have known about the situation since Dory is his responsibility and all. Though chances are that he's probably in the next town over, so we'll meet him there. If you see him, please let him know about the situation. Good luck. What next town? What? What next town, bro? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Find an asshole, bitch. I don't give a fuck. What next town could he possibly be at? Bro, and Magnolia City, I guess? Or, or Easter Town? I don't know, man. I do not know and or care enough. Alright, I'm just going to end this episode here, I guess. That was annoying. This episode is probably only like 50 minutes long anyway, because this is stupid. This fight is fucking stupid. That, that entire situation that I was just in is stupid and I don't like it so hey